So in this lesson, we're talking about log files and combining them with crawl data. So one of the really exciting things is to gain insights that you would not have had before, right? So, you know, a really cool thing I do a lot, and I think it is a really cool thing and can generate a lot of value and also insights, is to try and combine various data sources with each other. So certainly you can use log files as shown previously, but this is a, again a very limited view. It gets way more exciting when you combine your log file data with input you know, from other data sources. The most obvious way to do this is to use data from a web crawl and then combine it with log files to compare you know, simulated behavior with, you know, for example, Googlebot's crawl versus the actual behavior from log files. You can also take you know, data from Google Analytics or Google Search Console or all of those sources at once. And another easy way could be to utilize your XML sitemap and overlay it with you know, data from log files as well. So you know, let me walk you through a couple of things that you could actually do with it. So the easiest things you could do um, would be to overlay your sitemap with your log files. Eventually, you would see that you know, the data may indicate a lack of internal links within the site architecture because you know, if your site architecture is working properly, all the URLs included in the XML sitemap should actually have been crawled. You know, if not, there's something wrong. If you have data from a web crawl, it could you know, discover that a URL has been set to no index for you know, whatever reason. If you then were to overlay that URL with data from your log file, you would eventually see that you know, this noindex URL is actually crawled very, very frequently. So in this case, you know, setting up the noindex maybe was not the best idea in the first place, right? So you know, this happened for one of our clients where you know, the team made changes in the CMS and actually they set you know, some very strong product pages to noindex, which you know, shouldn't have happened in the first place, of course. But, you know, so overlaying log file data with other sources can also help to reveal mistakes, for example, and it can act as you know, a maintenance routine as well. Another report can be when you take a look at your indexable pages and see if they are really being crawled or not, and you know, if so, how often that happens. This can be a great starting point to understand if they just need improvements you know, or if you should just reconsider indexation altogether. Maybe you know they are just not good enough, right? So, or you could think about you know that you may want to consolidate them with one of the other contents on your site and get rid of this URL you know from the index entirely. So, generally speaking, you know if Google does not crawl them at all, there will be a reason for it, and you need to figure it out and act accordingly. You could also take you know all your non-indexable pages, just not necessarily you know the ones only with the robots meta no index but also those that, for example, contain a canonical tag, you know, referencing an alternate URL, or pages that are even blocked in robots text, you know, yet still are being crawled. So this is a great way to understand if Google actually considers your hints and the directives that you've set properly. If that's not the case, you need to improve those URLs to be more relevant. Many things can be done by overlaying different data sources, but, you know, the general approach is to build this kind of gap analysis and try to understand you know, the major differences really. Is it something that you did correctly? You know, do all the crawlers behave the same way? Or you know, does Googlebot behave differently from what you were actually expecting? So comparing crawl simulations with data from log files is super powerful. And once you've identified the differences, you, know, you can immediately take necessary action with it.